is the grade 7 math practice test for TN. Ready? Currently, this is question number 5. At a local gym, a random sample of 75 members took a survey about their favorite type of exercise. So they used a sampling method um, where they just picked a small number of people instead of picking all of them. It's very common. And they picked 75 members, which is good because that means you don't have to sit here and add all these numbers up. 75. Now, there are 350 total gym members. Based on the results of the survey, what is the most reasonable estimate for the number of gym members who prefer running on the treadmill? So they pick their favorite, obviously, exercise classes as the big seller there for their group, but it doesn't matter. It has relevant to this question. So what I'm going to do is use the power of a proportion to get a reasonable answer. Now, I will say I hate that this is in a calculator prohibited section because it seems kind of ridiculous, but there is a little bit of a thought process behind that. I don't really know what it is, but here we are. Anyway, I have, I'm going to set up my sample purport, or ratio. So out of 75, twin, there are 15 of them right, running on the treadmill, making it the least fun of the things that they enjoy. And it should be equal to, okay, so I have 350. And then I have to figure out what this value is. And there's a few ways that I could go about doing this. One idea it might be just to sort of guesstimate. We'll eventually do all the calculations. But um, if I know that 7 times 5 is 35, I know it's, it's a little bit less. But So let's just say times 5 just as a general idea. And then we'll do 15 times 5. Well, 15 times 5, this becomes a 5. And it's a 75. Well, I know that 75 times 5 is actually a little more than 350, so I'll look a little bit less than 75 and get to 70. That's a really quick way to do an estimate. It doesn't have to be some sort of exactness. Um, anywhere in that general realm could have gotten you there. That's the method that I would probably use to do this. If you're real meticulous, you could absolutely do the proportion, so we'll use cross products to do that. But then again... It's a lot of calculation. And now I have to say, okay, how many times does 75 go into... 5,250, because that's something I think about all the time. And by that, I mean never think about. I might go ahead over here and say, so it's 75 plus 75 more would be 150. Um, but instead, I'll just take some guesses. I know 7 times 7 is 49, so let's try 7 there. 7 times 5 is this. And then I'd have 3 here, because 7 times 5 is 35. So put the 5 there, put 3 here. 49, 50, 51, 52. Oh, look, I got lucky. 70. So there's my answer. So you can do it either way. Um, I would just feel comfortable with the number sense part of it because I'm really not comfortable in my ability to do calculations when I'm under, or computations, I should say, when I'm under stress. So I'm going to just think about, well, 7 times 5 is 35. It's probably something close to 15 times 5 and thinks, well, it's a little bit less. So I'd rock it back to that because that's much easier for me to think about. If you don't do that well or don't feel confident in that, you can always do the um, proportion and then work it out. It's just kind of messy and long, but it's probably worth the effort because this isn't the type of question that I would just not do because it seems difficult.